experiences. Hi guys, in today's video we have a new Paul Hendry update for you and this is coming straight from the Green Nook Telegraph. Paul Hendry presents on the Art Hostage channel, the Sheriff Art Hostage channel and the Pevency Paul YouTube channels. The Court of Sessions in Edinburgh heard how Paul Hendry was successfully sued by the two brothers known as James and Sandy Easdale who own the bus company called McGill's Bus Group. The two brothers each won £200,000 last year in their claim of defamation after Paul Hendry posted the statements to his Art Hostage, Sheriff Art Hostage YouTube channel and his Twitter account. He was found guilty in his absence. After their win, Paul Hendry foolishly told his followers on his Art Hostage YouTube channel that he would open the third account to get around the ruling. And after opening a third account called Pevency Paul, Paul Hendry posted numerous videos, each hours long, where he continued to make the same claims, with a few extras added in. But the videos did not appear for long, and Paul Hendry was warned by YouTube that the videos on Pevency Paul were being blocked here in England, but Paul Hendry advised his followers on how to get past the block. And it seems Paul Hendry has had a narrow escape for now, as he appeared via video link at Edinburgh Court of Sessions today, before Lord Braid. A lawyer named Ewan Campbell, who is representing the Inverclyde business tycoons, earned the judge to find Paul Hendry in contempt of court after his actions. Ewan Campbell told the court, I invite the court to find that he committed contempt. It was deliberate, and it was disrespect for the court order. He knew what he was doing was wrong, and it breached the order. He didn't care he could go to jail. Mr Hendry knew he was taking action to publish and disseminate the remarks in Scotland. He was well aware of the terms of the interdict. In an earlier hearing, the court heard Paul Hendry pled guilty for repeating the offence. Paul Hendry defended his actions and told the court today via video link, I am not a legal scholar. I am not legally trained. I believe it only applied within the body of Scotland. I generally thought that the interdict wasn't enforceable in England unless it had been registered in England. And so it seems the successful claim earlier last year from the Easdales, the court are not ready to disclose Paul Hendry's guilt, even though a guilty plea has been heard and the YouTube creator was told he could face prison. But it seems Lord Braid has decided to give Paul Hendry a little bit of leniency for now as it seems they are not ready to find Art Hostage in contempt of court today. Lord Braid told both parties he will make the decision in a written judgement at a later date. The latest decision by Lord Braid leaves confusion as to whether the interdict order was legally binding or not, and I wonder if that would affect other cases that have appeared before the Court of Sessions. But it is important to note that the Court of Sessions has previously confirmed that an interdict order may be enforceable in the UK. For now, Art Hostage is facing a police transfer to Sussex Police, which would allow them to investigate and take any criminal action considered appropriate against Paul Hendry. Thank you very much for watching.